Mitch Jackson for TrialLawyerExpert.tv. Do you want to stand out in the courtroom? Do you want the jury to think about you and your client in a favorable fashion? Here's how to get things started the right way. When your jury panel walks into the courtroom, when the jury comes into court each and every day, when they take their breaks, when they leave the courtroom at the end of the day, you and your client should stand up, turn around, and face the jury. That's it. It's a, it's a technique, it's a simple approach to being respectful to your jury, to developing rapport and having an opportunity to look your jurors in the eye and smile as they walk by in and out of the courtroom. It's common courtesy and it's also something that a lot of lawyers don't do during trial. Earlier this week I stuck my head in on a criminal case a friend was trying and I watched he and his client stand when the jury entered and exited the courtroom and the prosecution and a police officer sitting with that prosecutor never stood up, never turned around. In fact, they, they remained sitting at the counsel table looking down and writing notes as the jury left and entered the courtroom. And for me, it came across as being somewhat rude. For me, it came across as you're not, you're not even worth the time for me to stand up and turn around and acknowledge you as you exit and enter the courtroom. And I think some of the jurors felt the same way. I watched these jurors pass back and forth throughout the course of the day in front of the defense attorney and his client, and I watched smiles taking place, I watched eye contact taking place, I watched a hello, a good morning take place, which is completely appropriate. The jurors were walking right by the counsel table. and. In my opinion, over the course of time, this interaction, this genuine human common courtesy, is going to go a long way to any final decision this jury makes in the case. Now, I'm not suggesting that this common courtesy is going to make or break your trial or, or result in a verdict or an outcome in trial that's going to favor your client, but I am convinced that it's the little things it's the accumulation of little things that happen throughout the course of the trial that can make a difference. And this is one of those things where it just takes a second to stand and turn your hands down by your side, acknowledge a juror with a nod of the head, if they say good morning, good morning. It, it's these little things that will go a long way in a trial. And so make sure that you talk to your client before the trial starts about using this approach, this common extend this common courtesy to your jurors each and every day uh, beginning with the jury selection process. And you know when you're t speaking of jury selection, I'm going to go a little bit uh, off track here, but when I'm picking a jury and, and they're, s they're seated in the box over here and I might have 30 to 40 potential jurors uh, sitting in the, uh, in the audience out here waiting for their names to be called, you know, turn around before you get started and apologize to these jurors for having your back turned on them. Let them know that it's your job to focus your attention to the jury panel here in front of you, but you'd appreciate it if they would all pay attention and if their name's called and if they're brought to the jury box, just to let me know whether or not they have any concerns or questions about what we've already talked about you're including these people in the voir dire process, you're acknowledging the fact that you've got your back turned to them during the jury selection process and once again it's one of those little things of involving common courtesy that will go a long way during the course of your trial. That's it. Short and sweet but an effective technique that, that good trial lawyers use. If you have any questions, give me a call. Our number is 1-800-661-7044. You can find us on the web. Our California law firm website is jacksonandwilson.com.